Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Java JDK on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, we are going to check whether Java is already installed on our system or not. So just right click on your Windows icon here and then click on command prompt. And here you just need to type a simple command, which is Java C command. So if this Java C command is going to give you this kind of response, which says Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command, then most probably Java JDK is not, not installed on your Windows 10 operating system. So we are going to install it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK. Now you will see different versions of Java JDKs in the search results. So right now I'm seeing Java SE Development Kit 8, which is uh, most popular right now. But when I scroll down, uh, I can also see Java SE Development Kit 12. So this is the latest version of Java JDK at the time of making this video. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, download and install Java SE Development Kit 12. So I'm going to click on this link and you will see this oracle.com website will open and you will see uh, first of all this agreement. So I'm going to just say I accept all cookies and now you can see uh, this version on this web page again, which is Java SE Development Kit 12 uh, downloads. So first of all, you just need to scroll down and then click on the accept license agreement uh, radio button. And then depending upon your operating system, you can choose the binaries or the executable file. So right now we are on Windows 10. So we are going to choose uh, the second last option, which says JDK 12 Windows uh, hyphen X 64 underscore bin dot exe file. So we are going to download this exe file and this exe file is about 159 megabyte. So you just need to wait for some time to uh, download this exe file. So once this executable file is downloaded, you just need to click on this executable file and then uh, I'm going to minimize the browser. And first of all, you will see this kind of uh, warning. I'm going to just click on yes. And now the installation wizard has been started. So I'm going to just click on uh, next. And then uh, if you don't have the good reason to change uh, the location where this Java JDK uh, will be installed on your operating system, just leave everything as default. So this will be the location where your Java development kit will be installed. So we are going to go to this location after installing Java JDK. For now, I'm going to just click on the next button, which is going to start the installation of Java Development Kit. So just wait for some time until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. And after a few seconds, you will uh, see this message which says Java Development Kit is successfully installed. So you can just close this window. And now we are going to go to the location where uh, this Java development kit is installed. So go to your uh, C drive and here go to program files and you will be able to see this new Java folder, which is uh, created by this installer for you. So I'm going to click inside this and you can see uh, this folder, which is a JDK folder. So now we are going to uh, just set up our environment variables. So our command prompt is going to recognize the Java C command or any other Java related command. So what you need to do is you just need to go inside this uh, bin folder and then copy uh, this path from here and then right click on your windows icon once again and then click on system. And once this system window is open, just click on advanced system settings and then environment variables. And here you can see uh, two kind of uh, environment variables. One is user variables for uh, the user and other is the system variables. So we are going to create the system variables. So first of all, just click on this uh, path system variable. So here on the left hand side, you will be able to see path. So just double click on it or just click on the edit button. 
and then you can uh, just click on new and then paste this path until bin folder which you have copied so once you are finished with uh, this environment variable then click on ok and now we are going to create a new environment variable which is called java home environment variable which is uh, required by some ides and other uh, java related uh, programs uh, to recognize your java jdk directory so here we are going to just click on new and then we are going to create a java home variable so just type java underscore home all in capital and then here as the variable value we are going to go to the folder once again where we have uh, our java jdk folder so this time just go to uh, this folder under java folder which is the jdk uh, folder and then you don't need to go inside the bin folder now you just need to go until the jdk folder so just copy this path and then paste this path as the variable value for the java underscore home environment variable so i'm going to just click on ok and you can see this uh, new environment variable is created here so now once you are done with the setting of the environment variables we are going to just click ok and then OK and I'm going to close this uh, system window. So now Java is installed on your Windows operating system and we are going to check once again if it works or not. So once again right click on the Windows icon and then once again open your command prompt and once again we are going to give this command Java C and first of all let's see the version. So I'm going to just say Java C hyphen version and then press enter which is going to give me the version of Java C which is installed on my system which is at this time Java C 12.0.2 because we have installed Java JDK 12 on our Windows operating system. Also if you uh, want to know the Java version you just need to type Java hyphen hyphen version and then press enter which is going to give you the version of java installed on your system also once you have installed this java jdk the java se runtime environment will be automatically installed so you don't need to do anything extra for this and here is the java hotspot 64-bit server virtual machine so if you see this kind of uh, result that means java is successfully installed on your windows operating system and if you want to compile any uh, Java file using command line, you can always give this uh, Java C command, which is for compiling your Java uh, program. So Java C and the name of the file. But let's say I just typed Java C and then press entered. It's going to give me so many options here. And you will uh, see uh, this usage warning here. And it says, you need to use this java c command with some options and the source file that's why it's giving me all this help how can i use this java c command in order to compile my java projects so this is how you can uh, download and install java jdk on your windows 10 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video